Okay, finding the magnitude of a vector and calculating the angle counterclockwise on the positive x-axis. Here we have a velocity vector. It has a minus 60 meters a second, and it's in component form, comma, 30 meters a second. That means its x component is minus 60, its y component is 30. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and draw the direction of the components. Uh, we have a minus 60, so we know it's going to go back this direction here. We know the y value is 30, so we're going to go up 30 because it's positive. And again, this is a sketch. Then we know our magnitude is going to go back up this way here. Okay, I'll go ahead and make that red. Okay, so this represents the magnitude. Now, label these using the, the values. Don't make them negative. So I'll make this 60. And I'll make this 30. Okay, the first thing is we want to find what the resultant is. I'll just call this VR. What is the resultant vector of that? Alright, so what we can do, we do basically Pythagorean theorem. We're going to say 30 squared plus 60 squared. We take the square root of that, and that is going to give me the magnitude of that vector. So I'm just going to make it the V, and I'm going to put this around it, meaning the magnitude of that vector. And I'll get the calculator. We'll run that number real quick. And when I do that, I get 30 squared plus 60 squared. I take the square root of that, and we get 67.08. So the magnitude is 67.08 meters per second. Okay? So now what you want to do is define the angle. Now, what I recommend is if, if we're over in the second, third, or fourth quadrant, find the reference angle, meaning the angle that's closest to the x-axis. So I'm going to call this theta r. So can we can say that the tangent of theta r, the reference angle, is always going to be opposite over adjacent. I'll put this in parentheses. 30 over 60. To find theta r, we take what's called the inverse tangent. And your calculator is going to be second tan. Okay. Again, make sure that your calculator is in degrees. And I'm going to do second tan, 30 divided by 60. When I get that, I get 26.57 degrees. Okay, so that means this angle here is 26.57. I'll go ahead and put that in. However, we're looking for this angle here. That's what we're actually looking for. Well, we know the angle from here all the way over here is 180. So then our theta, we'll call this our theta, will equal to 180 minus 26.57. And when I do that, I will get 153.43. Okay, so we pretty much have this thing solved. And now all we have to do is write write this vector and we can write this as the vector is equal to 67.08 meters per second with a theta of 153.43 degrees and that's how we would show it and that would be our answer Okay, let's try another one. This one I have a force. It has a 30 newton in the x direction, and it's going down in the y direction of a value of 50. So again, draw the vectors. We'll come over here. We'll draw a vector representing the 30 going positive. We have another one going 50 going down, 
Again, we're going to find the resultant here. Again, we will go ahead and color that. Make that red. Okay. So now we're back to the same thing. We want to find out what the hypotenuse is. So let's go ahead and label these. We have this one as 30, and we have this one as 50. We're going to find this angle here, which we call, again, theta r. It's our reference angle. We know that the tangent of theta of r is opposite over adjacent, so we can say that theta r is equal to, and I'll put the tangent. Now you notice this time I'm doing the angle first, and you don't have to do that. Last time I did the magnitude. And then theta r is equal to 50 over 30. Okay, we'll take the, uh, do the calculator. 50 divided by 30, second tan, second answer, and I get a value of 59.04. We'll take the theta reference out, and we'll just put 59.04 degrees. But however, again, we're looking to find out what this whole angle is here. Now we know if we go all the way around into a circle, it would be 360. So we can call this theta. And theta, in this case, is going to be nothing more than 360 minus 59 0.04. So I take 360 minus second answer, and I get a value of 300.96. So theta is equal to 300.96 degrees. Now we need to get the magnitude. Again, we're going to do Pythagorean theorem. We can say this vector here, which is our force vector. Again, I can put R there, mean resultant. I don't have to. I'll write it over here. The force vector is going to equal to 30 squared plus 50 squared. And I'll put this in to represent the magnitude. And when I do that, 30 squared plus 50 squared, second square root, second answer gives me a value of 58.31 okay so we would we would show this in a correct way we would show this would we would show it in terms of magnitude again we need to put put the units in as newtons and then we would show theta as 300.96 degrees and that would be our correct answer. Okay, There's two problems. Um, pretty much follow the same approach on, on any vector when you're given the components. Just go ahead and again draw a, um, the component vectors in the direction that's given here, and then locate your um, hypotenuse or your resultant vector of the two. Um, then you can do Pythagorean theorem and or, I shouldn't say and or, but or do the angle first. It doesn't make a bit of difference. But again, if you're trying to get um, the angle from the positive x-axis, do the reference angle first, and then either add or subtract as necessary to get that angle. All right, best of luck.